Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the 10th annual meeting of New Champion has almost come to an end. And therefore, I would like to thank first and foremost each one of our 2,000 participants. Thank you for your participation and thank you for your encouragement. And as you may know, Professor Schwab, our founder and executive chairman, recently coined the term of the fourth industrial revolution, giving us a framework to understand the rapid change of the world, where technology meets humanity, which changes our lives in an unprecedented way. And to keep the leadership in times of the fourth industrial revolution, the World Economic Forum moves to system thinking, breaking silos of vertical industries and looking into connected ecosystems. And here in Tianjin, we could demonstrate our new thinking. Instead of talking only about automobile industry, we address the future of mobility. We discuss not only the question of 3D printing, but the future of production system. And not only the question about gas and oil, but the future of energy. And that was possible thanks particularly to the engagement of 175 strategic officers of our partner companies. And the entire annual meeting of New Champion has been strongly supported by our respected co-chairs. You brought in all your competence, your enthusiasm, your motivation. And so, thanks to your engagement, this annual meeting of New Champion is, of course, a cutting-edge meeting of science, technology, innovation, and entrepreneurship. So, ladies and gentlemen, please a big hand to our co-chairs. Thank you very much for your engagement. And all what we see here around us was only possible thanks to all our teams. And during the summit, particularly today, I looked into many eyes of our team members. And yes, some are looking a little bit tired, but only due to the jet lag. And it was all overcome multiple times by their passion and by their motivation. So allow me to thank our teams here in China, the Chinese office under the leadership of David Aikman, and all the different teams across the house, our outside partners, the volunteers, the students, the many helping hands. Under the leadership of my colleague in the managing board, Dr. Lee Howell, thank you very much. And I looked also into the eyes of someone else. Outside the room, there's a robot, Jaja. I guess you know her. I was thrilled. I looked into her eyes and I asked her how old she is. And she is not only pretty, but also charming and polite. She said, look, Philip, she knows also my name, never ask a lady about her age. <laughs> but she knows my age only by looking into my eyes. And she made my day because she made me three years younger. And encouraged by this discussion, I became a little bit bold, maybe too bold. I asked her out for dinner. And then she answered really as artificial intelligence. She said, sorry, but the answer of your question is not part of my portfolio. <laughs> that was the nicest way I ever get a no of these kind of requests. But jokes aside, today, this kind of answer is not part of her portfolio, of the portfolio of artificial intelligence. But tomorrow, it will catch up soon and fast. And I heard from many participants that, of course, technology, artificial intelligence is fascinating, the judge is fascinating, but at the same time, also worrying. And we also know that technology, particularly the fourth industrial revolution, 
is touching upon many of our deepest emotions, even fears. It raises a lot of questions and creates a lot of uncertainty and even more worse, sometimes fear. And that fear is never a good advisor to societies or nations. That is what we have seen recently and what we unfortunately can see all over the world in many countries and nations campaigning or not campaigning. And of course, each technology has its own unique set of challenges, such as environmental pollution, unemployment, or raising the question of social cohesion and inclusion. But a good answer is never to forbid technology, but to try to use technology to find better solutions, find ways through technologies to overcome conventional energy, to create and bet on renewable energy, to find better solutions for better education for technology and thanks technology. And ladies and gentlemen, of course, to find ways to embrace the speed of change by new ways of agile governance. And that was possible here during this meeting. Thanks to your engagement, you are here as a multi-stakeholder community, business leader, civil society, policymaker, tech pioneers, our new champions, young global leaders, global shapers, social entrepreneurs. You all together have had discussion and one of the best outcome, in addition to the outcome which are very concrete, is your cooperation, the multi-stakeholder cooperation which can, at the end, always create optimism and hope. And that is the message of the 10th Annual Meeting of New Champion. That is your mission. That is our mission. Let's counter the fear in the world by encouragement. So thank you very much, again, for your encouragement. And that we could come together was possible thanks to an excellent cooperation with the city of Tianjin. And so please, let's call on stage the mayor of Tianjin with a big applause in order to say thank you to our great host. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. The enthusiasm for the annual meeting is even higher than the midsummer temperature. Discussion and networking bring us closer together. The 2016 Summer Davos Forum has successfully completed the agenda and will come to a close soon. This annual meeting will have a profound impact on the world economic transformation and development. This great event has built consensus. Premier Li Keqiang's excellent keynote speech has received a very positive response. More than 2,000 elite people from all over the world talk about the fourth industrial revolution, explore the impact of transformation, and put forward a series of creative ideas, views, and visions and bring the international community new inspirations, confidence, and bright prospect. This great event has gathered strength. Participants have made an in-depth analysis of intricacy and complexity of a new round of industrial revolution, explored ways to promote transformation, put forward a series of solutions, brought together more power of thought, power of wisdom and power of innovation, and injected new energy into the development driven by transformation. This great event has sowed the seeds of friendship. Even mountains and seas cannot distance people with common aspirations. 
While exchanging ideas and sharing successful experience, we have enhanced understanding, reinforced our shared views, and deepened mutual trust and friendship. More and more friends and partners have come together, and we are writing a brilliant chapter of cooperation and win-win. Ladies and gentlemen, boundless is the ocean where we sail with the wind. I believe that the light of the wisdom of Davos Forum will illuminate the journey of the new industrial revolution. As long as we work together and raise the sails of innovation, the giant ship of the world economy will cut through wind and waves on the way towards great prosperity. Finally, I would like to express our sincere thanks to Chairman Schwab, the team of World Economic Forum, the distinguished participants of the annual meeting, and to all the volunteers and the comrades from Dalian City and people of all walks of life who have supported the forum and made it a success. I wish to meet with all the honorable friends again in Tianjin in the future. I wish all the honorable friends a pleasant journey and good health and happiness. Thank you all. Thank you, Mayor of Tianjin. And ladies and gentlemen, we are all looking forward to come again together, the next annual meeting of New Champions 2017 in Dalian, 12th to 14th of September. But in order to do so, I would like now to call on stage the Executive Vice Mayor of Dalian, Kao Aihua. Excellency, the floor is yours. Distinguished uh, Professor Schwab, distinguished Mr. Philip Rossler, distinguished Mayor Huang Xingguo, ladies and gentlemen, friends. 2016 AMNC annual meeting has given us a splendid achievement and has given a splendid uh, first stop of the 2016 economic development. Therefore, I would like to congratulate the hosting city and all the uh, participants for all your achievements. In 1971, Professor Schwab started up the European Economic Forum. So if we compare this with the people's age, in this in next year, the AMNC will come to Dalian, Dalian and Tianjin together, join hands, we have entered the, ten, uh, the next 10 years. Over the last decade, we have understood the charisma of the uh, forum and the in-depth of the um, forum. And this forum has been operated by the elite of the uh, world. Everybody has the uh, great control of the its uh, industry, and uh, actually it has given the good control of the terminals in Davos, in Tianjin, in Dalian. We come together to this uh, cloud terminal. We have the uh, candid exchange. We have um, achieved the smart achievements impacting the economic and social uh, areas of the world, further encouraging development of the world. Dalian, I believe that it's a beautiful interaction with the forum. We have an in-depth exchange, we have close relationship with the forum, and has enabled the world to understand the world, and also has integrated Dalian into the world. That's an outstanding window to opening to the outside world. Dalian is actually faced with the downward trend of the economic development. At the same time, faced with the opportunity of revitalizing the uh, Northeast China's um, old industrial uh, bases, as a result of the forum, Dalian 
actually has had a splendid 10 years. As a result of the forum, we are more confident for the upcoming 10 years. Indeed, the times will make the hero. We are now in the fourth industrial revolution. We are very honored to be on the way of uh, transformation. Together with you, we join hands. We work together. We expect that at the beginning of next 10 years, we we'll meet you again in Dalian. Thank you very much. So now, ladies and gentlemen, it's my great honor and pleasure to invite you all, on behalf of the World Economic Forum's leadership team, under the leadership of Professor Schwab, Moritz Somnis, Cheryl Martin, Lee Howell, David Aikman, to our farewell reception. And the 10th annual meeting of New Champion is now officially closed. Safe ship home. <laughs>